This week we're in the Waikato region. We've been studying our trusty weather maps and swell forecasts. Great swell heading for Raglan, just two hours from Auckland. It's a lot better than it was last time we are here. So, uh, and cleaner. There's only, about, there's only about three blokes out there. Doesn't anybody surf here? Where are they? <laughs> Have you seen Team America? Nice acting, Gary. Nice acting, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, it's Gary Ockham. I'm in the Waikato area here with uh, legendary motocross rider Daryl King. How are you, buddy? Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah, listen, uh, tell us a bit about. I mean, there's so many injuries in motocross, and uh, you've got all your gear out here. And can you just give us a rundown what uh, we've got to be careful of and what these guys go through. You know, breaking everything from vertebrae in my neck, uh, legs and arms and collarbones, and uh, and so on. So now I try and wear as much protective gear as I can. Mm -hmm. we, uh, we have obviously the helmet, which is important. Um, knee braces, which is man, you, know, you pretty much need knee braces if you're going to do uh, motocross or supercross these days. Yep. You know the shoulder pad, shoulder pads, chest protectors. Yep. Um, goggles as well. Yep. Very important. Okay. Yep. You always get some rooster rocks thrown at your eyes, and you need them. And there's a new product at the moment. Yeah. So that's company about that. made this neck brace here. Um, Dr. Liad, he's a neurosurgeon, and he uh, designed this neck brace. Yep basically stop breaking your neck. So, Tell us a bit about your machine, it's a Yamaha. Yeah, Yamaha support us here in New Zealand, uh, along with Subway. Yep. Off the showroom floor, we don't do a lot to them. Yeah. Different pair of handlebars and some tyres and some numbers on and we go racing. Well, I, I guess we should uh, see how this baby goes, eh? What do you reckon? That's oh, on. Yeah, no, I'm not going to, but... Yeah. Let's throw... Yeah, so flip it up. Hey, Rod, thanks for that. Yeah, no, awesome. Absolute pleasure. Please have you. Meeting you and... Right in the 450. Getting to do a couple laps on the number one bike. Wicked. I think the next time we'll meet up with DK will be in Pappas when it's 50 foot. <laughs> it's our turn to show him the ropes. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're just checking some uh, swell charts here for... Um, Pappas. We're, we're pretty... Pretty, pretty confident that there's a, a four meter swell going to hit there on Monday. We arrived in Dunedin. Uh, we've had, got gale force winds at the moment. We're counting on tomorrow, B. Yeah, it's um, still about 50 knots at the moment and it's meant to drop right off tonight. I don't want any of me touching the water. 
I'm gonna put Vaseline on my face. <laughs> Pretty, it's pretty fucking cold when you leave it in there for a bit. 12 or 13. <laughs> Not too bad. Fuck, so in this bullshit. It's dangerous. <laughs> it's gonna blow us off the mountain. Windy. It's crazy, uh, I don't even know if I'm about surfing this wind. Just, you can hardly stand up. I can't let alone on a surfboard. Uh, we stay at the Kaimata Echo Retreat. Uh, just the most fabulous place I've ever stayed in. It's just amazing and uh, if anyone out there wants to check it out, this place is just absolutely stunning. It's actually seven o'clock and we're in Dunedin and we're heading down to the Catlins. Hey mate, you know where the, you know where the Catlins are? Uh, you're following the sign here. Oh, is it? Is that right there? Yep, we were down there. And how far out do we have to go to get there? To Catlins? Oh, yeah. you've got to go through a week of first, it's around about 30k. Yeah. There and that are, well, these sort of in the Catlins area. Okay. What's up with your accent, mate? Are you from around here? Yeah. Really? Wow. Scotland. You're a long way from home, aren't you? <laughs> yep. Thank Thanks you. very much. Bye. Yeah. Great setup. Really good setup. You watch the footage of you and Dougie. I thought you guys would already be there. Did that photographer come up? Didn't see anyone. Oh, you're kidding. Hey, bro. Ah, hey, 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 yeah, hey. Doug, bro. How you doing? It's me, yeah. It's, it's perfect. Is it? It's going to be, yeah, it's going to be off its tits there. Really? Yeah. It's going to be, it, well, this is, um, this doesn't get west swell here at all. Mm. Oh, yeah. So, like, this place, yeah, it gets west swell and it's going on to high tide. It's it's perfect. Let's go. Let's do this. You want it? We're going to check this out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. It's the first time I've ever worn booties. Oh. Yeah, I've worn reef booties, but never for cold water. Never been below 17 degrees, really. So this is going to be a pretty good experience for me. <laughs> That's what so happens, gassed, man. <laughs> hey. Oh well, it happens. Oi. Hey, you want to borrow a board? Buy one. You want to borrow one? Oh, I might break it. Oh, I don't care. You can ride mine if you want. You have a go? <laughs> Yeah, put your string on it. Oh, this is my first time on a Mount Woodgy board. <laughs> The ice cream headaches when I first went out were gnarly. I got caught inside for about five minutes and yeah, my head felt like it was going to explode. It was freezing, but then I kind of climatized to it. I'm stoked I went out though, just to experience all that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And um, I was in that. Because it was really weird at first in the hood. 
and you kind of get used to it. Yeah, you sort of like, you don't know where. So. Yeah, it feels, you know the sound of um, water housing footage? It's, yeah. it's like, yeah. it's like that when you're yeah, in the hood, yeah, eh? Yeah, yeah. I know, it's just a beautiful place down here and I can't wait to come back.